हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी हाउ डू वी कंज्यूम अ वेब सर्विसेज विच इज क्रिएटेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो अगर आपने मेरा इससे पहले वाला वीडियो नहीं देखा है तो यू हैव टू फर्स्ट सी दैट वीडियो देन ओनली you will understand this session in the previous uh, session we have we had created these two methods dollar to rupees and rupees to dollar now we create a client that will consume these two methods whenever it is required so let us start with the practical part go to the solution explorer and then on this solution just right click add new project then again for project uh, we have to select web application the option is also uh, the recent project template is also there so you can select this or when we search right see this is your Uh, web application asp.net web application just click on next now i am giving a name as currency converter client so this is my client and the path is this uh, path is same and the uh, this framework is same click on create then empty select empty and then create so this will create a web application Okay, now move to the next step. Uh, go to the Solution Explorer. Right, References. Right click. Add Service Reference. Now here we add the reference of the web service that we have created on the server. So just click on this Discover button. As we can see, this is my name of the web service. Or web service uh, name space is just Service Reference One. And just click on OK. So just uh, check. the sir the service reference is added in this just click as we can see here these all are the references that are required to call or to consume that web service now next step click right, on the uh, click on this project right click on this project then we add a web form new item and here we have a web form so this is my web form currency converter web form then click on okay add now this is my web form just remove this division tag and write center so that the entire design will be appear on the center and then click on this design option to see my cursor is in center now here we design uh, the layout for the client So let us start with the uh, design part. Now go to the toolbox. Then to in toolbox uh, we have a control called as label. Drag and drop it, and go to the property of this label. Just click on properties. Here we have a property. Then this is my LVL one. Then uh, just give the border to the label, and then enter the amount. So here, user will uh, enter the amount, right? So for entering the amount, uh, the control is your text box. So just drag and drop the text box. Then again, go to the property of the text box. Then ID TXT one, and then again border style. This is my uh, the amount part. Now, next we give the options to the Line so that it will uh, select the one of the option. So to provide the option, we use radio button. Then again, go to the properties. This is my R B T N one. Then again, border style rich, and then text. So this is my text. Rupees two dollar. So this radio button uh, is for. Converting the amount 
into rupees to dollar then again just copy this radio button control c control v then again go to the property of the radio button rbtn2 and we convert this to dollar to rupees now these are two radio buttons now uh, we first just uh, execute this uh, layout right click view in browser it will start the execution of the uh, web form on browser just wait for some time right it will load all the resources that is required by the uh, web form so as we can see here we have a currency converter web form dot asbx so do remember students the extension for the uh, web form is your dot aspx active servers page extension so now uh, ab yahan pe user will enter the amount suppose user ko convert karna hai 90 ko into dollar rupees to dollar but when we select this rupees to dollar right ye to select hua but when we select the dollar to rupees so both the options are selected but what is the characteristics of the radio button only one selection is allowed for that ab hum log kya karenge go to the property of this radio button there is a one property called as group name to so, yahan pe maine g de diya then again go to the property of this so now these two radio buttons are belonging to the same group so when we select this radio button it is from the g, g group then when we select this button it is automatically disable why because they are belonging to the same group to ye ek cheez yaad rakhiye ki we have to give the same group to the radio button now next we take a button then again go to the property of the button btn1 then border style rich and then this is my convert button which is responsible to convert the currency aur uske baad now we take a label just copy this label copy control c and control v here we print an output or display the output now now we change the property of this uh, label so the text property will be the output here we display the output okay so this is my layout of the currency converter now we start with the coding part just double click on this convert button it will start the c sharp code as we can see here right we have a button one which is my id and the name of the button uh, event is your click okay so now sabse pehle hum log kya karenge uh, we will take this amount uh, you can take the amount in double also right so that user can enter the decimal point this is my emt then we uh, use the convert method to convert the data from string to double now ab jo bhi enter hoga it is in your txt1 dot text so now this is my amount which is entered by the user to convert into either dollar or rupees now next part uh, next hum log check karenge which radio button is selected so now i am writing radio button 1 dot checked which is equals to equals to true so if uh, this radio button is checked what does it mean it will return a true so when it is written a true that means radio button 1 is checked so yahan pe hum log radio button 1 ka code likhenge else the radio button 2 is selected okay now uh, on the uh, on this radio button we call Uh, the web service method which is there in your server for that we first create the object of the service reference so as we can see i uh, i told you the name of the service reference is this then dot go to the third one web service one soap client then again give this object name as client equals to new web service reference one dot web So now this is a syntax to create a web service object. So with the help of this client object, I can call the methods of the web service. Okay, let us start. Now LBL two text. जो label two का text होगा वो क्या होगा? That is your uh, result plus. Now we call this method client 
now we call this uh, the method client uh, client dot see we have a uh, this method radio button one kis ke liye banaye the humne just check here this is for rupees to dollar to so r to d with the help of this object we call the method r to d and ye jo r to d hai usko hum log de denge amt whatever the amount entered by the user will be converted into dollar in the same way again uh, on label 2 text we display the result as now this time we call the method d to r and again uh, amt as a parameter so this will uh, basically this line will call the method from the server that is a web service from the server so now this is just the coding part now we execute this code just right click view in browser hum log usko execute karenge right browser pe just wait for some time as you can see here the browser is starting and the currency converter web form jo hai wo execute ho raha now user enters the amount to so suppose I have entered a 82 and I want to convert this into rupee uh, rupees to dollar dollar mein convert karna hai click on convert button as we can see here right we have a 1 dollar suppose ab main isko badha deta hu 100 it will display the 1 point something answer 1.2195 now in the same way suppose user enters the uh, dollar at 3 dollar and convert into the rupees just click on convert Three dollar equals to two, four, six. So this is the basic uh, of the web service. Okay. In this way, we can say implement the uh, SOAP web service using a .NET platform. So I hope you understood this entire session. I th thank you so much.